For over a year now, a battle has been raging, the likes of which is one for the ages. A clash between a virus that has gone unseen and doctors and nurses who have worked relentlessly. In the movies? In the movies, they would have already pointed their bat signal toward the sky. Professor X would have been forced to look deep into his mind's eye. The Justice League would have assembled from every corner of the globe. Tony Stark would have called Peter Parker and they'd ended up far from home. Vision would have grabbed Wanda. They would have called in those rhinos from Wakanda. Shuri would have built a suit or designed an antidote to put in soup. If the new black Captain America and Winter Soldier could call all their friends, this whole thing could be over. But this is not the movies. This, this is, is real life. And in, in real life, you start a battle not knowing when the end will be. And the fight always lasts longer than the, the time, time folks are willing to sit in their seats. Real life is relentless. And the battle very often feels unconquerable. Early on in the pandemic, doctors and nurses and hospital workers were, were only beginning a fight of blockbuster proportion. When videos of healthcare workers desperate to be heard, choking back tears and struggling to find words, their, their faces swollen from all the extra hours, kid confessing they didn't have the energy to eat or to shower, their, their cheeks scraped red from where their mats had rubbed them raw, would say, I want to quit so bad. But I'm gonna go back I'm gonna tomorrow. Go back tomorrow. I'm gonna go back tomorrow. But I'm gonna go back tomorrow. And in the midst of that despair, at one hospital in Detroit, every time a patient was discharged, the doctors and nurses would sing journeys don't stop believing. And at first, it was few and far between. But each time it played, they could reconnect with that lost feeling of relief. Don't stop believing. A reminder that there was light at the end of the road. And with time, more and more people were allowed to go home. Hold on to that feeling. Dear America's healthcare workers, you may think your work goes unnoticed, you may think it's all for naught, but we see your struggle. You don't know the power of your own origin stories, and that's why we're here to tell you we're not scared of Magneto or Thanos, but we do know fear. And you, you are there to fight for us. You may not feel that important, but hey, would Rogue join the X-Men? She was just a small town girl living in a lonely world. See, in the real world, these characters don't exist. There, there are no, no magic concoctions, concoctions, no government experiments, no mutant genes, no super speed, no adamantium, no vibranium. We can't fly or turn back time, but, but we, we can tell the origin stories of our superheroes. Sure, when Tony Stark was knocked down, he got back up again. But, but his he... armor is impenetrable, and, and you were running low on PPE? Wolverine's claws can cut through any kind of metal, but, but he, he can't, can't fight an enemy that he can't see!